Bandwidth for all shows on the Aussie Tech Heads network is supplied by Aussie Tech Heads web hosting for a fast, affordable and reliable Australian server with fantastic support. Contact Aussie Tech Heads web hosting at aussietechheads.com.au. Aussie Tech Heads, Australia's best hosting service. It's, it's that time of the week. The world has stopped. It's that time of the year the world has stopped for the Apple event. The Apple event of the ages has happened overnight or this week in, uh, in America land. And we're going to hit or we'll talk about that later on in the show. But uh, this is Aussie Tech Heads and it is episode 400 and what are we up to? 54 recording wow. on the, yes, the 10th of the 9th, 2015. And uh, as I said, we've got some Apple stories coming up and a bit of the reaction towards those and our views on what we think is good and bad. And also, uh, yeah, some other stuff. We're going to start off with the other stuff. We're waiting for Eric to come on board. He's, uh, I don't know, he's having tea or something. Doing, doing he's the... standing in line at the Apple store already. <laughs> <laughs> he, might be, he might be doing the washing up. Who knows what he's doing? But anyway, well, hopefully he can make it in. So let's, uh, fingers crossed, we'll wait for that. And uh, the show is brought to you each week by ATHwebhosting.com.au. I'll go there if you want to find some cheap... Uh, and affordable web hosting on Australian servers. They're nice and fast. Good stuff. At the moment, we have uh, joining us here this week, Will. Hey, Will. Howdy, howdy. How are we, sir? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. What's uh, been happening with you? Oh, it's all happening. You know, running around, keeping baby Busy. things happening and, you know. He's pregnant. Yes. Well, yes, I'm part of the pregnant team, yeah. <laughs> I feel pregnant at the moment. <laughs> In the head. Yeah. And uh, and also, uh, Jace. How you doing, Jace? This guy who just keeps on interrupting your introductions. <laughs> Good thing. That's right. They suck anyway. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look, it's all right. Add some it? life into it. Interrupt away. That's what it's all about. Uh, yeah. So, uh, look, we might as well mention you guys have got some two very popular shows going on at the moment. We've got the Ooh. Old Fart Geeks and Obsidian Loft. Now, they're available on iTunes and also from respective... Web pages? Is there a web page? There is a web page for Old Fart Geeks, isn't there? YouTube. And YouTubes, yes. Uh, so if you, uh, iTunes is probably the best way. Or what's the best way for Android? That's the most or- common way, you know. We might get 30 to 50 on YouTube, but we get 1,000 to 1,500 on downloads. Yeah, on yeah. iTunes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, iTunes is pretty good. And actually, oddly, the um, MP4, like the, the video, but the mobilized video actually does pretty well too. Yeah, right. Nice. Well, I've got good news for, for everyone that's interested. There's another podcast joining the the ranks, uh, mm. maybe a monthly type podcast. We'll see how it goes. A yeah, pilot... we talked about that yesterday, didn't we, Will? We did. <laughs> another one? <laughs> I didn't think we told you yet. This Week in Kids. Oh. <laughs> about kids and babies and stuff. You might oh, yeah. know why that subject came up. Oh, well, that's a, that's you never know. That could be a good one. There's probably uh, lots of people that want to know. We're taking on Leo this week in kids. I want to do like um, you know, um, you know, geek parenting or something. <laughs> parenting, mm. parenting done geek. <laughs> Got a uh, copy of Bill Cosby's How to Raise Kids book by his side. <laughs> <laughs> that's all been torn up now, hasn't yeah, it? Bing, Bing oh, Crosby yeah. as well. well yeah. that's, that's oh, Bing Crosby as well. <laughs> <laughs> White Christmas, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, there's another podcast joining the ranks and it's a security podcast. Now, I'm not sure when this is going to be released because uh, I've got to get some intro music for it, <laughs> but keep an eye out. It will. I'll paste it on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Aussie Tech Ads, when it's ready. And I've tentatively named it, which will probably stay the Aussie Tech Security. So there you go. I like Steve Gibson. He's great, yeah. You need to, <laughs> you need to tell some of your customers about that, I think. Well, we've got a uh, very smart guy, Roger, uh, from a uh, from a company in the ACT, and he's joined me. And uh, each month, we're going to try and uh, pump one out and discuss the security issues of the day and how you can avoid potential problems and uh, move forward with your life. All right, so keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know on the podcast as security, well. Security, security, security. That's right. All right. 
Now, look, let's uh, let's uh, do a bit of a rundown. <laughs> yeah, a bit of Roger Ramjet, Will. <laughs> Used to be a good little show, didn't it? Now, look, uh, a bit of a uh, that's the bit of a rundown. Let's uh, see what's been making some news other than the all-encompassing Apple news, which we'll discuss later. Uh, Will, what have you found this week that you want to talk about? Well, one that actually just popped up into my stream a couple of hours ago is rather ironic, uh, and I love it to bits. We all know how much... Never been um, that... Oops. We're not, stupid autoplay videos, seriously. <laughs> don't yeah, do don't it. Suck. Oh, um, you know, we respect taxi drivers. They work hard for us to travel around the city. Um, unfortunately, taxi drivers don't respect Uber. Now, Uber is, for people who don't know, it's basically a, I guess you could sort of say like a privatized, contracted taxi service. Um, same thing. Use the app. They come mm. to you. Yeah. Now, it's been popular in different countries for quite a while, and it's starting to take off here, and the taxi drivers are cracking the sads because it's eating into their rates and blah, 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 blah. So what happened was in Melbourne today, the taxi companies went, we're going on strike just to prove how needed we are. Oh. Uber yeah. went, hey, guess what? Free free, free freeze for everyone for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> taxi so companies went, uh -oh. uh, we didn't quite think of that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So who and actually neither did that company that I used to work for who would have got a billion calls today? <laughs> oh no, it was, it, it was so basically yeah they the the, the thing is because the, the stupid part is okay Uber despite what you think technically technically if you follow the absolute letter of the law yes it's illegal but aside from that it's actually safer in many regards Uber drivers have to actually have security checks taxi drivers don't. Um, so there's there's actually a lot more safety in Uber, and it's a multinational company, so it has that backing. But um, so basically, what happened was in Melbourne, um, the yeah the taxi drivers had enough. They said, "No, we want Uber gone, and we're going to basically, you know, shut down our taxi network until Uber's gone." Mm. And Uber went, "Yep, Sweet. no worries. Um, have some free rides, guys. Thanks for Thank using. Thank you for more. Pe and it also gives them free plugs all over the news all the time. That's it. Yeah. And People are like, Uber, what's that? Let me Google. Holy crap, that's fantastic. I'm going with that. <laughs> all, you, all you had to do to have the free Uber service was tweet uh, with the hashtag Keep Melbourne Moving. So, of course, Keep Melbourne Moving was trending for four or five hours today. So, you know, suddenly thousands of new people who would never have previously used Uber suddenly are using it now and are going to continue to use it. <laughs> and for those who don't know about it, you download the app to your iPhone or Android and then you um, sign up, put in your details in there. For, for your payments, you take a photo using your phone's camera of your credit card and it'll automatically read the numbers and words and stuff and put that into your account so you don't have to type it in, which takes forever. And then you press the button that you want a cab, one will turn up, which is somebody's car. It has to be a fairly recentish car. They can't turn up in your clapped out Datsun from 95. And then they pick you up. They tap in their system that they picked you up, drive you to where you hop out, tap when you've hopped out, and then you automatically charges your credit card and they get some money out of it. And you don't have to have a wallet with you, which a lot of people will forget or don't want to carry around mm. too much money. You don't have to credit no, card no, swiping. Like... What happens if you get the tap? You get overcharged. Yeah, it doesn't really happen that much because it's cheaper than taxis anyway. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's still half the price anyway. You wouldn't want to be trying to sell a taxi license, would you? No. Like, taxi, and see, this is what they've got the crack in the sads about. Taxi licenses are like gold, twenty grand yeah. or something. For, <laughs> Plus 8000 for insurance. Yeah. And yeah. the thing is, the way Uber gets around it is they're actually all contracted. So it comes down to the individual person, what they want to do. Um but what's ironic is all these cabbies are cracking the sads about it, yet hundreds, of, and I know a few taxi drivers who have actually gone to Uber because you make more money, that can work in conditions. You can control of your hours. You, well, that, but, you know, because it's your vehicle, the vehicle doesn't stink like the last three people that were driving it for 24 hours, you know, like, it's just a much better, um, mm. it's just a much better thing, you know, like, I think even if, at the end of the day, Uber gets outlawed. The shake-up they've given to the taxi service um, is going to be worthwhile. But I can't see Uber going anywhere. Because they're a multinational company, they're happy to pay 
hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines just to keep They got going. VC backing any time they run out. They're just like, hey, can we have another 20 bill? Yep, there you go. But so what's their, what's their game plan? Their game plan just to, well, they can't keep paying fines and stuff forever. Yeah, they, they make more yeah. than they pay. Yeah. Um, okay. the, at the moment, there's currently about um, 15,000 um, 15, employed through the Uber platform. Um, and there's more than 1 million people who use it. Yeah, right. So, oh. so when the government or the, the tr- transport police or whoever want to try and, you know, find these guys, like, you know, you hear these, oh, there's a couple in the court now and there's a couple in this other court or whatever. Well, why don't the guy just stand out on the street just Ubering all day long and just pick them up one after the other? Like, why, if they're serious, why wouldn't, that, why wouldn't they do it that way? They do. You know, the only person who really is chasing them is the tax department. Out of all the... In the transport organisations, yep. the government yep. legal organisations, the people who are supposedly going crooked them for doing the wrong thing, the only person who's on their case, tax department. What's that tell you? Mm. Yeah, well, obviously, you've got to pay your tax. So, um, yeah. But anyway, GST, they, son. They do, but they're the mm. only ones who are chasing them because they go, oh, wow, hang on. We've got, got 15,000 people having income in something that's open and obviously we know how much because each taxi fares tracked via the mm. app so they know exactly how much these people are making so the the tax department's like well um hmm, actually maybe they can hang around for a while yeah but if, if you're if they're charging your credit card that money's going into their or that's going to uber yeah. and then uber is then passing that on to deposit that's going to their offshore bank account well <laughs> yeah, their offshore bank account and then they well. <laughs> deposit into your account whatever your percentage is oh are you telling me that all these uber drivers have got offshore bank accounts no, no. They, it all goes Uber, to Uber does, and then yes. it, it's distributed from there. Yeah, but the, the the drivers would be paying tax. They are. They're like a contractor. Yes. So they're responsible for their own taxes, their own wages, their own. Yes. They're responsible for all that. Although Uber has like Uber insurance and Uber liability, and so they have their own sort of backing. But each individual person is responsible for that. Um, and it's yeah. As I said, I know a lot of taxi drivers who are actually going to that now, and they say that's a far better platform than, than an actual taxi. So They also have to pay for the meters that go in their own taxis. Mm. Oh, that's right. And the GPS tracking and the cameras and the this and the that and everything else that goes in it. The mm. radio licensing fees. and Yeah, I was and watching um, the news while I was at the gym tonight and this guy is like, after all that stuff comes out, I was lucky to make 100 bucks a week. Mm. So I mm. just had to chuck it in. It's not worth it. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, look, I've never used them, but I've got the app, and I will use it next time. Look, I don't use taxis either because uh, I'm too tight. But I've only used a taxi, well, a taxi service twice in the last uh, twelve months, probably, and yeah. both times was Uber. Mm. I'd rather get the wife to drive. The first time cheap. I got picked, <laughs> first time I got picked up in a Range Rover Sport, and the nice. second time I got picked up in a Seven Series BMW. Oh, and nice. how's your experience? They give you a free water bottle, right? Yep, yep. I really? Yep. Oh, I'm getting one they tonight after the show. Everyone has to give a, get a free water bottle when you get picked up by Uber. Oh, I'm getting Oh, that's it. I'm booking one tonight. I'll do a round trip around the, around the block. <laughs> and the block. <laughs> get a bottle of water. Yeah. They should give you like Uber $12 bottles of water. A bottle of water and a trip around the block. <laughs> they should give you Uber bottles of water. Can we know? do it again? I haven't finished drinking. <laughs> I need another one for, for yeah, someone block else. Is- for my brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. Next time, uh, make it 4X. Yeah. Uh, Jase, what, what have you been up to this week? Well, besides doing our show, uh, some news is the Abbott Coalition government came into power two years ago this week with a promise to change Labor's fibre to the premises, National Broadband Network, to one using least ex- less expensive fibre to the node technology, spreaking its network with the three-word slogan, fast, affordable, sooner. But with the release in August of the 2016 NBN corporate plan in the light of overseas developments, it is clear that Coalition's broadband network will not provide adequate bandwidth, will be no more affordable than Labor's FTTP network, and will take almost as long to roll out. With the benefit of two years' hindsight, let's have a look. Labor's funding estimates for its fibre to the premises NBN rose from $40.9 billion in December 2010 to $44.9 billion in September 2013, an increase of 10%. By comparison, the Coalition's funding estimates for both for FTTP and the so-called multi-technology mix have fluctuated wildly. 
estimated funding required for coalitions in Vienna has almost doubled from 28.5 billion before the 2013 election to between 46 and 56 billion dollars in August. Before the 2013 election, the coalition claimed its proposed multi-technology mix network would cost less than one third of Labor's FTTP-based NBN. But in new estimates released in 2016 corporate plan, the cost of multi-technology mix favoured by the coalition blew out and rose to two thirds of the cost of fibre to the premises-based network. Also, the cost of repairing and maintaining Telstra's ageing copper network was likely underestimated. <gasps> Shock horror. As was the cost of retraining and maintaining a workforce with a wider range of skills needed to install and maintain a multi-technology mix network, costs that are unique to the MTM. In the space of two years, the lower cost deal of coalition spruiked to Australia voters has turned out to be not so affordable after all. And hang on, Kel surprise! Oh my God, who didn't see that coming? Well, I don't care what happens as long as we, we get it. I think... Um, no, ask Will, how's your NBN going? Oh, Will? how is it, Will? <laughs> That's not going. I have no words. No comment. <laughs> so well, what, what's happening then? There's now another week gone past, gone by, yeah. and, and what's no NBN still? No, well, no, I haven't received a bill. I haven't had confirmation. The actual NBN co hasn't contacted me yet. Um, but you, are you, say, you get hey, any, anything out of the socket, a dribble or anything, just anything? Yeah, I, get, I actually get really good download if I'm just browsing or watching YouTube or something like that. But the second I actually put a load on it, like trying to play a game that requires up and down simultaneous streaming or trying to stream or trying to Skype, mm. it falls apart. You left the test going for a whole day just trying to stream and it couldn't do more than what, one minute? Oh, 35 seconds, I think, was the longest yeah. period but, it went for without going down. Well, what seems to be the problem? I know because Michael on the Aussie Max zone, he's got the MBN, and I'm not sure if there were there might have been teething issues, but he's he's going fine. So it's obviously not a whole network issue. It's just... Dodgy well, Brothers Installation yeah, Company Incorporated. That's basically what it come down to, I'm sure. Mm. I'm sure, looking at the way they've run the fibre cable, I'm positive they've broken it. Mm. Mm. The way it comes out of the wall... And then twist back. Now, in the actual spec sheet, it says you cannot bend it on more than a 90 degree angle over a 10 mil radius. Right. It's glass. Wall glass doesn't back. bend very well. <laughs> no. It comes out of the wall, um, out of the two inch conduit. Yeah. Because you need that for a three mil cable. Um, <laughs> yeah. Into the wall, comes back on an angle like that, and then goes back the other, through the other side oh. of the wall like that. Well, that'd be the problem. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But, yeah. of course, they installed it properly, so, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's just no good. Well, look, yeah, look, I don't know. All the, with these, anything the government does, I don't understand why costs blow out. Like, don't they do a budget or, or get their figures to start with? So, so they said, okay. They well, make them up. That's the problem. Well, they must, yeah. eh? In, in, independent commission to do it. The problem is in, in, independent commission is told how to do it. Independent. Yeah. With the air facts. But The point is, out. if that's they crazy. had the one technology fibre to the premises, that's one thing. You train somebody to learn that one technology, there's only one thing that's happening. You get multi-technology. People have to understand multiple protocols, multiple, multiple connections, translating this from electricity mm. to light back to electricity and combining all of these things with multiple failures points. Yeah, it's just a mess. Mm. If you have one thing, there. glass lines yeah. in fibre optics, no problem. I mean, if they had to just roll it out as fibre, yes, the initial cost would have been dearer, and that would have been it. There'd be no maintenance or virtually no maintenance on the network. It's robust. It doesn't degrade over time. Throw out the copper network that Telstra's got because they made little porky pies about how cheap it's going to be to maintain when it's falling to bits and is a rotting <laughs> yeah. mess. But not only that, the fibre. One tiny fibre cable can hold far more information than a neighbourhood can throw at it. You know, whereas copper, one copper line, like whether even a cable, you know. Ask uh, Milo how well copper goes. Yeah. Well, but even even a cable connection, like an RG6 cable, it's, um, you know. I just don't know what the hold up is with, with uh, getting this HFC out either. Like, I'm waiting but for the it. problem with the cable as well is you want to run something like Foxtel over it. All of their channels are compressed to hell and look not that great because um, they're trying to fit as much in and the, it just can't cope. 
Now, mm. if you want to get like something like 4K out of it, that's never going to happen. Mm. But they have hard enough trouble doing 1080p with multiple channels, but you put through your optic fiber, no problem. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing. Optic fiber, yes, it would have cost more, but it's so future-proof, they're sorted. But no, we couldn't have that because it was going to cost... And they see to the next election term. But right. we can see, we, we can, if it goes fiber to the node, well, then we can go uh, fiber, yeah, to the node, then at a later date, we can extend that to the premise. So maybe a stepping stone. Someone's going to have to redo it all. The what they can do and what they will do are two entirely different things. Mm. All right. Well, I see, uh, moving on to something else, I can see that in America, the uh, guess who's chucked their, their hat into the US presidential race? John McAfee. Mr. McAfee. <laughs> it's hilarious. That dude is so screwed in the head that he must be overqualified to be a president. Serious. Was, wasn't he, uh, didn't he do a little, if you go onto YouTube, you find some funny little videos that he produces. Video of him with guns and hot chicky babes and mm. going on about how much he hates people emailing him to figure out how to uninstall McAfee because it sucks so much. <laughs> So he's uh, the he's a US entrepreneur famous for the McAfee antivirus. He's 69 years old. He attracted international attention when he went on the run in 2012 following the murder of his murder of, charge, yeah. of his neighbor in Belize. He's launched his launched a campaign website and will share more details about his candidacy later. He's taking on Kanye. Oh. Taking on Kanye. That's going to be difficult, right? <laughs> I don't understand how to be a perfect candidate. I don't see a problem. Kanye's not going in until 2020. When's this one? 16? Hey? This one, yeah. It's, this one's Cap next 16. year, I think. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but I don't know what they're going to do. Oh, Donald Trump's going all right, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know what's going the on. Piece, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, oh, here we go. Here's some... Um, what's this? <laughs> We've got some quotes here from him. <laughs> I live in a country that has passed so many laws that my average reading speed would take me 600 years to read. <laughs> 24 hours a day. I'm that protect- like John McAfee. <laughs> That's his wife. <laughs> ah, when you're rich, you can't have one. I am protected by a government that invades my privacy so that can assure me that I am not the enemy it is protecting me from. <laughs> I live in a country that is governed by people largely illiterate to cybersecurity as proven by the multiple government computer hacks. Yet cyber warfare is now the means of war. My government is, government is dysfunctional. For the three hundred million, be the cyber ca- can candidate, right? Yeah, well, he's going he's to pass a law that McAfee on all devices. <laughs> McAfee, <Yeah! laughs> I'll give up technology quite easily. He uh, launched his anti malware company in nineteen eighty seven, but he resigned in nineteen ninety four. Uh, Intel later bought the company uh, for more than four point no, for more than seven point six billion US dollars. My goodness, all downhill after that. That's how he gets those girls. However, it is his private life, including much publicised publicised battles with drink and drugs, that attracted his most attention. Oh, great candidate! Great candidate! Um, yeah, so that's well, you have to we'll, be that before you can become a presidential candidate. What's this? At the time, he eventually crossed what? Blah blah blah. I don't want to be unkind to the gentleman, but I believe he's extremely paranoid. He, he kept, uh, there's just these yep. quotes that just. Um, yeah, crazy. But anyway, that's uh, that's McAfee. <laughs> when you're a gazillionaire, you can be a bit loopy. <laughs> I guess so. Four point seven. Being loopy, it's, and then there's being him. It's a wonder he hasn't blown it all. You know, on ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Hookers <laughs> and blow. <Please. laughs> yes. That's why he's got to run for president. He figures by 2020 he'll be broke. <laughs> yeah, well, really? That's probably why he wants the he wants the coin at the run of a president. Yeah. He wants some income. But that's that's why I became president. Yeah. All right, Will, get us, uh, get us another... Sorry, you can have a... You, do your comment. Oh, I'm McAfee, malware going mobile. Mobile threats by platform. Symbian OS, then Java, then Symbian, and Python, Android, WinC, MSL, and VBS. So apparently, like, Symbian's responsible for three-quarters of the viruses, according to Symbian. Who writes a virus for Symbian? <laughs> <laughs> I had a Symbian phone. I had a Symbian phone twelve years ago. I named my cat Symbian. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Serious. Symbian the cat. The wonderful, yeah. wonderful cat. All right, uh, Will. What else is happening? Yes, sir. Well, um, motor racing. Love it. Uh, enjoy playing a lot of the games. Unfortunately, I don't have the new Xbox, so I can't play 
all the new PlayStation, so I can't play um, Forza. But Forza Motorsport, Motorsport 6 has just been released, and it's got the V8 supercars in it. It's got a, um, a full laser-scanned uh, Bathurst and a few other things. Um, it's the most accurate map released to date of Bathurst and the V8s. Um, so there's a couple of interesting articles on it about um, actually running around Bathurst. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. I mean, as you can see there with the, the graphics, you can see everything from the raindrops on the windscreen. And, uh, and what, what do you play that on, Will? The computer? The new um, Xbox and, and PlayStation. Oh. Unfortunately, it's not on PC. They haven't released it on PC. Um, which is annoying. It's the only reason I haven't got it. If I ha otherwise, I would have fallen in love with the Forza games, all of them. Mm. Um, but this one's just so intense. They went to so much trouble. Like they actually, yeah, they actually, um, you know, basically got the cars. Say so they got, you know, Van Gisberg's car, for example. They laser scanned the cars, laser scanned the track, and created a program to drive the car based on actual telemetry from the track as all the um, AI cars. And so when you race the track, if, to beat them, you have to actually race at real speeds and the way you corner and handle and... Yeah, nice. Thing like that. So they are using this now for... Last year, the Bathurst 24-hour was actually, I think, second place, was a team that had no actual practice driving. They literally played the entire thing on a simulator. And so this year, Forza's doing the same thing. They've got the Forza Challenge where they're getting a group of five people or something um, to just play Bathurst on this. And then they're going to go to Bathurst 24 hour next year and they're going to race in real life and just see what the correlation is. Mm. Now, look, just a little bit off track to that and just more tech support. But And I don't expect you to know the answer to this because you probably haven't got an Xbox 360. But uh, uh, with Minecraft... Our little, we, our little Minecraft game on the Xbox, you can't turn around on it. Um, well, that, that'd be a controller issue. I've reset controllers and everything. There you go. Oh, hello. Holy <laughs> Here's trouble. Crap. Well, <laughs> Who authorised him? I want to punch Thursday in the throat. <laughs> How been... about some video, son? That's, yeah. I've that's... got video. What are you talking no, about? Yeah. No, you haven't. Just got your still. Well, I'm, I, on my side, I'm seeing me moving around and giving you the finger. Well, looking in the mirror doesn't count. <laughs> yes, that's a terrible monitor. <laughs> and no, there's, there's no camera. Stop it and start it again. So since we can't see the camera, you're only giving yourself the finger. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so I think off. that's... Wait till Eric tries that. Here he comes. Yes, and be... Yeah, I, I think I've got to reset the controls, but I've never had to do that before. Yeah. But anyway, that work? that's way off yep. track. Yeah, that's uh, right. Given that... It's very similar to the mobile device now, and that happens. Sometimes if you exit out of the game and you're, say, moving left when you exit out of the game, you log back in and you keep moving left. Um, it sticks the keys, so sometimes you've got to reset it. But And don't uh, get a mouse some... like Will's got. All right. right. Yeah. yeah. That's another story, that. All right. Now, I'm just trying to... Uh, read... Have you started yet? Yes. yes. Oh, good. Sorry, finished. everyone. Hello, everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now look, um, can uh, Warlock? Have you got another story? Well, I just readjust the camera camera yep. things. Law oh, enforcement authorities have won a victory in their bid to stem rising fraud from increased use of contact pay contactless payment cards. The Joint Federal Parliamentary Commission on Law Enforcement has accepted police recommendations that banks seek customers' consent before activating contactless or so-called tap-and-go payway payment devices on credit and debit cards. The recommendation was contained in the committee's report on its inquiry into financial crime in Australia, tabled in Parliament on Monday. The inquiry, launched in March 2014, sought to detect flaws in the Commonwealth's ability to effectively combat financial crime. Tap and go payments allow consumers to make purchases up to $100 without having to supply a pin or signature. However, the committee heard evidence from the Victorian police that the introduction of tap and go payments had led to a rise in low value fraud transactions using stolen credit cards by up to 100 transactions a week. Victorian police argue that while banks had weighed the cost of tap and go fraud against convenience, found it worked in favour of their balance sheets, they'd failed to adequately recognise other concerns. Among them was an increased motivation to steal credit card and debit cards, which could drive an increased violent crime. Mm. The major banks provide a zero liability policy to customers who are victims of fraudulent transaction. This policy is clearly advertised in conjunction with tap and go technology, 
Widespread promotion of the zero liability policy is expected to motivate offenders who are likely to see the victim will not be at a personal loss. ANZ Bank's head of financial crime repudiated police concerns, telling the committee at the moment with the low thresholds on tap and go, I don't think it's a realistic large threat to forward losses. I think some of the other issues we've been discussing are much bigger threats in terms of financial loss and customer inconvenience. Yeah, well, they've had uh, tight security on, you know, you go to hook up a mobile phone or like, pay-as-you-go mobile phone. You've got to go through your driver's licence and everything. You can't just buy the SIM and chuck it in. Yep. But, uh, oh, I don't know, that tap and go, that is rife, I reckon. They asked I love it, though. Mm. They ask for a lot of details. They don't confirm many details. You can sign your credit card, Mickey Mouse, and most people accept it. Not only that, but if you get a prepaid SIM, for example, then they ask you for a driver's license number, but they don't check to verify it's a real number. Wouldn't they have a, a connection to the database? They don't they look do. it up. They though. do in New South Wales. <clears throat> they seem to, because you can make up whatever you want, and they accept it. Oh, right. Okay. Just that ask Will. <laughs> Obviously, so what's, you, what's your license number? Uh, five. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have any pre- Capital no, D, lowercase I, p, underscore. I don't have any prepaid, but my mother in law um, needed hers set up and I had to change it to. She had the big SIM and she got a new phone and it's got the small SIM, so blah, blah, blah. Mm. blah. But I had to set up a new prepaid while going to Telstra where they could actually get the signal. Actually, I, ha- I haven't got those other five phone numbers of yours, Will. I I'll just get, get um, <laughs> randomly made up a number when they asked me for the driver's license number. And they went, yep, no worries. And then they asked me for the address. And I just randomly made up an address. They went, yep, no worries. Hmm. So they obviously do a lot of checking on that. All right. Now, Eric, how are you going? Yes, yes dear. <laughs> how are you going? I'm all right. You've God, had some problems. Day. We got your favourite subject tonight, son. Yes. Oh, not really. Come on, I'm pretty agnostic. Credit where credit's due. <laughs> yes. Well, look, we can move on to that if you like. Um, they, well, they, what, are, what, are, what have you spoken about since? Nothing. We've been waiting for you. Been waiting. Oh, really? Mm. Yep. You're lying. No, no, no. no. no we <laughs> so have what not. have you been just blabbering on about garbage? Other <laughs> news stories not related <laughs> to your favourite company. It's That's not right. my favourite company. I admire their, their panache. Their riches. But, um, I wouldn't mind a small <laughs> chunk of their riches. They're going to get a hell of a lot richer too, aren't they? Oh, after this one. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, let's get some... I think we should get some thoughts of some non-Apple hmm. fans. That's probably a more objective view Are you, you going to buy the new um, Apple Maxi pad? Well, let's... Look, before we go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked that. What an interesting question. <laughs> now, look, before we go into that, let's uh, let's just recap for those of you who don't know what has been announced uh, this week from Apple because they've, they've announced a plethora of, of items. A plethora. <laughs> a plethora of items uh, ranging from iPhones, iPads and Apple TVs. Now, I watched... I the reckon ca- it's a bit much. I reckon yes. they release too much. It's all go. oh, my God, where do I go? What do I buy? Oh, bugger, I won't buy anything. I reckon it's a product a month. For, for, until yeah, Christmas. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, well, might be right about that. Might be ramping it up. Yeah. Well, they do have China now. Yeah. So they're going to go gangbusters there, I'd assume. Look, oh, look. The, uh, the the Apple keynote started off with the Apple Watch. And look, um, luckily I was on That's the... That's when I went for a bit of a snore. Oh, lucky I was on the podcast. I just fast forwarded it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, yeah, yeah. That Expensive watch. Band. See you later. Bye. Yeah. That watch has not got my interest one little bit. I don't think it's got anyone's interest. No. no. Hands up, four people here. Hands up, anyone? No? No. No. Uh, Nothing. Fifth bit for me. You so, can't see my video, but trust me, I didn't have my hand up. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I look, can see a different video. After the after the Apple Watch uh, uh, sleep fest, uh, I think they came out with the iPad Pro. Now, the iPad Pro. Oh, is yes. that what they called it? Not, not what I said. No, not yeah, the, well, yours the, is, not they probably, that. That probably came across the think tank table at some point. <laughs> Yes. And um, and if Steve Jobs was still there, you probably would have fired him. It was shut down by <laughs> Johnny Ive. I mean, you know what I don't like? Just just on the side there, you know. So and now we've got a video for you, right? And they say, okay, that's all fine. And then Johnny Ive gets up there and starts talking. It's the most brilliant product. It's, it's innovative. Apple, Apple oh yes, to just design beautiful <laughs> things like my head. <laughs> You know, it's a little bit cheesy. It's starting to get to the yes. point where it's a little bit cheesy. He's got this sort of like, you know, like a porn version of James Bond going on. Mm. Yeah. yeah, look, that's what and, – and I did notice it t- today as well as this um, – yeah, Johnny Ice comes on. I'm thinking, oh, here it is. 
you know, he's got a, he's the, the Englishman, he's got this voice carrying on. But anyway, well, specs about this iPad Pro, it's a bigger, it's a bigger machine. It's a bigger display. It's 12.9 inches And across. you get a stylus. The Apple Fuck your Android, Android people. Apple Sorry, pencil. Apple pencil. <laughs> now, it's, <coughs> it's a resolution of uh, 2,732 by 2,048 pixels. It equates to 5.6 million pixels in total. Uh, it comes out to about 265 pixels per inch. Now, they're saying that that's sharper than the MacBook with Retina. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so it's rebounded technology. Yes, as Jay said, with the pencil, Apple Pencil, the stylus. Uh, 99 bucks US, though. You know, just for a yeah, yeah. pencil. But uh, back on the stylus slash pencil, it does a lot more than a normal stylus. Did you watch what it does? What, what yes. Yes. Thing does? It does everything. It's Apple one's done for five. The Android, Android one's done for five years. Yeah. Well, well yeah. why haven't anyone seen it, William? Why isn't, it, why isn't anyone buying it? Anyone's got a Samsung product for it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you say... With phone. Oh, is that's that the same fun. Samsung store that crossed the road from the Apple store that no one's mm. ever in? That one? Yeah, that's the one. It's every single shopping center I go to has got the Apple store and the fake Apple store straight across. <laughs> <laughs> but are you saying, Will, that the Android stylus has got all this push, push heavy, push light, uh-huh. thick, thick, thin, all this? I thought it was just a... a, a uh-huh. Yeah, right. I, yeah, no, it's it's everything that they keynoted and said was great. Hey, this is the best thing ever. My Android phones have had for close on five years. All right. Hey, well, Apple's claiming it's the most... But that wasn't Apple. ...accurate digital pen ever invented. So there. <gasps> That's uh, because they call it a digital pen and not a stylus. It's the only one ever invented. <laughs> it includes... Oh, William. <laughs> come on. If we're not going to be going to be fair about it, we should just carry on and talk about, I don't know... Android viruses. <laughs> yeah, it's got uh, some new speakers. Yeah, that, that no, Symbian, works. we already did that. Symbian viruses. Yeah, it's already been there. Oh, I've done that. All right. The, okay. uh, it has four built-in speakers. So there you go. I mean, stereo sound shooting so, from all so corners. You get quadraphonic sound out of four tin cans instead of two. Yep. The speaker- oh, William, <laughs> please stop it. <laughs> now, now, come on, you tell me. When I say, when I, look, when I, if I try a Windows product and if it's legitimately good, I give it. No, no, I'm I'm not specifically saying Apple on that one. I'm saying you find me a mobile phone anywhere that has fantastic sounding audio, be it mono, stereo, or quadraphonic. Well, obviously you don't have an iPhone. What about HTC with B? There you go. <laughs> That's not true. One of the phones that was really good was the Sony Walkman phone had fantastic sound. <laughs> but only one person bought that. Yeah, and Will me. wonders why he doesn't go on Mac Zone. <laughs> Now the uh, it's got a new processor. Uh, it's the A9X, 1.8 times faster than the A8X, including the iPad 2. Now you know that actually have specs on it though. They just give you a random number. Yeah, it's just A9X <laughs> next A9X. year. A9X. What, yeah. what else do you need? Oh, next year it'll be A10X. Two is it? Two is it? What? What speed is it? Uh, Nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Obviously. Nine, nine times. <laughs> it's it is no speed. Look it has that thing. It's nine times the base speed. <laughs> There's a new iPad. Wait. The <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, very funny. Uh, the iPad Pro starts at 32 gig, jumps to 128 gig option. Uh, will be available in November. And look, there's there's a couple of them together. There uh, will run. Now, how's this? This is where it gets a bit bit out of control for me. Uh, 799 US for the 32 gig. And okay, th- so that's a thousand. Easy, easy. And a thousand well, now probably more. And a thousand and seventy nine for the hundred and twenty eight gig. Apple pencil. <laughs> uh, it's twelve hundred. Yeah, easy. So that's uh, look pretty expensive. They they're very nice. I do would like to buy one, but we'll wait and see what happens in November. I think we'll wait and see. I don't. You know, I want to. I want to have a look. I like the idea because it's sort of sort of like the Lenovo that you've got. Not quite. You know what I mean? Because it hasn't got the twisty screen. Yes. Sort of. Yeah. So sort of not quite there, but it's the size. <laughs> but I'm gonna. I want to see what the keyboard's like before I yes. do anything. Yeah. Oh, oh, the $169 keyboard. I yeah, tell you what, something bit, bit rich. Yeah. But didn't they bring a keyboard out a couple of years ago for the? Was it the first iPad or something? They bought, no, it was no, they've never brought one out. They no. brought, you can get third Logitech party one. Brought one out. Yeah, so there was a really nice one that was, I think, specifically for the iPad, and it was really, really comfortable to use. Because it was actually like almost like a real full size keyboard. Mm. But look, you know, like just just going back there, you mentioned the Windows, my Lenovo, Eric. Yes. 
Now, just the other day, now this, I still can't believe now, Windows 10's been out for a little while, a couple of months. Windows yeah. 8's been out for, what, a couple of years? A couple of years. Now, I still can't believe that, uh, okay, so I sit down and I'm listening to TuneIn Radio on the phone, on the iPhone, right? Oh, yes. Drains the battery a bit fast. So I thought, yes. okay, I've got my laptop here, or, or even my desktop. I've got my desktop here, which I'm sitting in front of. Uh, let me get the app. Why not? So right, tu- yes. tune up the Windows Store, tune in Radio Beauty. It's there. <laughs> it's there. I can't took, believe it. Took the, you 20 minutes to get it. Yeah, and it's there. And so I go, right, go. doesn't work. It doesn't work. What do you mean? You downloaded it, but it doesn't work. It that it's it works yes and no on and off uh i try i, I go I, you can't search for stations it's only got a list of stations oh come I, on i'm, I'm serious I just am a question did you go serious. to the website and run it directly from there by any chance no i didn't i wanted to do the app <laughs> well, i want to this is what i've said all i want to use this microsoft stuff but you cannot First the, their developer program is pretty abysmal yeah it's, and Especially given they don't release the code before they release Windows. No, that's the thing is they release the code for developers after they've released the computer. Yeah, the operating system. So, yeah. then, so the developers are scrambling, go, oh, we're six months behind. And then six months later, they come out with another operating system. Going, oh, God, bloody hell. Mm. You just got this one, right? They changed what? the development, recommended development language as well. Oh, good on them. Yeah. Well, see, at least with Android and with uh, Apple, they released the the code well before the release of mm, the next yeah, and you can operating it. system. So mm. you've got time to test your apps and all that sort of stuff. Well, Casey... It's, it's, it's common sense, mm. really. Come on. So case in point is that Apple has announced a new Apple TV. So about time. Yes, that's what we've been waiting for. So right. the new but app- they released, they're saying it's available today for developers. And they yes. release it, what, in three months or something? Well, there's already games on there because you know, they showed them off. So there's already yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know, but when you, when you can't buy it yet, can you? No, no, but I mean, so obviously the developer kit's already been uh, yeah, dished out. Yeah, that's been downloaded today. It would have been downloaded today. Yeah, but it's been available to others as well. Yeah, AAA companies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, to other, you select developers, yes. that's right. So, and they would develop some stuff in-house. Yes, correct. Yes, yeah. So, okay, so the new Apple TV's been redesigned inside and out. Looks like it's a little bit thicker, higher. As it sits on the desk, it's it's got the A8 processor, will. But I, they didn't really explain why <laughs> it was thicker. Uh, well, it's, well, it's the got processor s- that needs better heat dissipation. Well, that could be true. Mm, could do. That'd be the main reason. They'd be limited by by cooler space. Yep. Well, anyway, because with, with you playing games and all this high high yeah. graphic stuff, it probably would heat That's up quite a bit, wouldn't it? I'm sure yeah, once it's as well as the CPU now as well too. So well, once it's right. out in the wild, I'm sure we'll see a few teardowns. Yeah, but then we'll get it down here and, uh, you know, three dollars twenty nine, three hundred and twenty nine dollars Yeah, it's up there. That's uh, just for the remote. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's uh, 64 oh, gig look, of storage. With the dollar the way it is, we are going to get Apple taxed up our, you Clackers. know. That's one of my stories. What you do, because the Chinese, the RMB is dropping because we're ordering stuff from China at the moment. We've stopped converting it to US dollars first. We go straight from Australian dollars to RMB and we're saving a heap. So wait till the stuff's released in China and buy it from China. It's going to be a heap cheaper than buying it from the States. Yeah, but you can't buy Apple products from Apple Store in China and get it delivered here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, you can't. <laughs> I bet you, can't. you can. <laughs> I've tried. No, you can't. I've logged into the Hong Kong store and I've and try to order it here and it asks you for your address and they can only order it. You can, they only oh, deliver locally. Ruslan will do it. We got a we got a rep over in China who imports all our stuff for batteries and stuff. I'll just get him to throw some in the container. Well, yeah. that's the thing. That's the best thing to do. If you knew someone over there, you'd say, "Look, go and get it for me. Mm. Bang it on." Then you'll pay the will markup price when he resells it once it gets it over here. Tax, which is an Apple. <laughs> the will tax. So the new Apple TV is built around its brand new remote, fusing the natural language and voice recognition. <laughs> you got channeling Johnny. You've got, you got to put the Johnny Ives <laughs> voice on when you when you're oh, things fusing. Like you oh, to I, couldn't, I can't do accent. it. I'll be back next week with his accent. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> uh, uh, a brand new Look, remote. It's a very control. neutral accent. It's only slightly English, so it's very hard. It's to very copy. posh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite posh, but it's not overly posh. And because he's, he's been in America for 20 years, so he's a little bit softened it. So mm. it's not too plummy. So then that makes it very hard to to copy. You know, like if you do a Prince Charles, it's easy. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. Yes. So it's well, very easy. But, you know, you can't do Johnny Ives unless you just shave your head and mm. put a turtleneck on, really. But, 
But how is it? It's got, yeah, so it's it's the fusion, the natural landscape and voice recognition element of Siri, the minute <laughs> touch sensitivity. Wayne, isn't it? And you, <laughs> are you are you a New Zealander now? <laughs> <laughs> and, Oh, just do it as Rams. And due dimensional navigation of a MacBook. Yeah, MacBook. Rams and no, down the line. <laughs> Integrated Wiimote esque accelerometers. Uh, so, anyway, uh, US 149 for the 32 so gig. Apple brought out the Wii. Apple Wii. Wiimote esque. Yeah, pretty much. And 199 US for the 64 gig. Now, oh, people no, are. That'll oh, be 249 um, here. Yeah, people are saying that. Um, <laughs> remote that you're never going to be able to figure out. Oh, yeah, no, it looks all right. Looks good, <laughs> but I like <laughs> touch pad at the top of it. <laughs> you can talk to it. Apparently. Yeah, you can talk to it. Yeah. So look, look. Series what's the, what's the keynote? I said Mad Max, you dumbest. <laughs> not not Mad Max, Mad Max. <laughs> and also, and obviously, uh, September's not complete without an iPhone uh, release. Has to be. The, you're, you're the iPhone. You're the iPhone uh, shopper person. Mm. Are you going to um, order one? Well, expensive. You are in line tonight. No, the, no, God, no, 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 no. I only got oh, this is only a year old. Mm. I'm not getting another <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, uh, probably, <laughs> but I don't well, know. Which one? Six oh, S. Are you six? serious? Look at the prices of these things. Like, well, okay, I don't know what the prices in Australia are yet. Oh, I, I know what they are in the US. That's enough. Mm. So the <laughs> the six S. It's not the seven. It's the six. Uh, it's got the three D touch display. Which is doesn't sound what, it's, me, it's uh, me. what it is. Like, it's just big, the big whoopie deal. Yeah, the so big what? long. Yeah. Deep, no, no one's ever going to use it. Deep press. Oh yeah, that'd be good. It's like a right click. On the, yeah, on the, that's right. I think that's a right click. Exactly. I think that's good. Why don't you say that? You mean like a long press? No, deep press. Because <laughs> you only need one button on your mouse. <laughs> you do. You only need one nipple, and then you that's have a right. long press. In in Mars, yes. you only need one nipple. And uh, three, if you do it right. The 12 megapixel eyesight camera. Other upgrades you'd expect from the S series include faster processor, Will, uh, and also the iOS 9. Processor. <laughs> <laughs> Apple's new mobile OS represents a significant step forward, adding, among other things, a smarter Siri, updated core apps. Now, you were saying, Eric, have you looked at the OS, uh, iOS 9? I haven't, no. I haven't. I'm, wait, I'm going to be patient this time. Here we go. You want the prizes on the phones, mate? I've got it here. I've got them as well. I, I, I just can't bring myself to say them. 6S. <laughs> oh, dear. I know. Right, let's have a look. What colour would you get, mate? Well, I'm not getting that rose gold. Come on, homo. <laughs> That's for sure. What is you want? I silver? I've the gold Space iPad gray. mini. Silver? Let's go silver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just give me I the black. The silver. I just want They've black. They've got no 32 gig. It goes from 16 to 64. So yep. 16 gig, 1,079. 69. 64, 1,229. Actual... 128, 1,379. You can buy a PC for that. Mm. Apple will be, yes, yes. Apple will keep the uh, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and, and, and using the 5S as the entry level. Mm. Look, I'll give them credit. If they can sell another 25 or 250 million phones at $1,000 a pop, they will. They're not going to be broke, are they? Well, they're not now. That's what I mean. That, I mean, as much as I bag out Apple, you can't deny their marketing and their... Oh, they're very good. Very like, good marketing. Like, mm. they, they suck you in. Mm. I mean, that's, that's, their, that, that, that's why they do it. That's why they're in your lockdown infrastructure because they want you to buy everything they release. Look, it's... Uh, yeah, what about you just get an iPhone, the old iPhone 6, mate? How, are they cheaper? Well, they will be cheaper. They will come down. I yeah. think it's only about 100 bucks. Oh really? Yeah. So I mean, for a hundred bucks, you'd, you'd probably go the best. Well, well, I'm going to have to think about it once we know the release. We don't know a release date yet, do we? A pre-order on the twenty fifth of the ninth. Sorry, twelfth of the ninth. That's and deliver. Deliver on the twenty fifth of the ninth. So that's pre-order in a couple of days. Yes. Yeah. Look. Better decide. Better decide. Well, look, I did some quick I calculations. They could pay for that sort of thing for us, or review units maybe. Yeah, they no, don't, they don't, do they don't give a review units. Well, I had a quick calculation earlier today, uh, and on my plan, I'm on a fifty-five dollar plan. I'm thinking, okay, so say if I go on a proper plan, uh, like with a phone, say that might be eighty dollars, right? So say thirty-five, say thirty dollars difference uh, over two years worked out to be per month worked out to be about seven hundred odd dollars. Um, buying it outright would be twelve hundred. Mm, 
Oh, th- well, yeah, well, yeah, thousand seventy nine yeah, US. So. See, before the before these prices came out, and before the exchange rate crapped itself, you would have been better off buying it outright. Yes, but I think now the exchange be... rate's crapped itself, and they've got these prices. You're actually going to get a discount of about five to six hundred bucks if you go on a contract. We haven't got Australian prices yet. No. Yes, we have. have Are we? they Australian? Yeah. Apple phone. They've released the prices. What's There's the prices the for the for Australia? But yeah, I've got it here. That's what I told you. That's the price. Is the it's thousand and seventy nine. That's Aussie. Is that Aussie dollars? Oh, that yes. Was... Oh, okay. That's Aussie dollars. Oh, awesome. that's right. Yeah, because on the keynote, yeah, that, they were. Yeah, it was um, was cheaper on the US. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, I don't know. It's oh, thousand. Aussie dollars. Thirteen hundred and seventy nine for one hundred and twenty eight. You probably don't need that much because everything everyone streams everything these days. Mm. Right. You, not much storage there. Except, you, the only storage you'd need for is your photos, and you probably you probably off them off your phone every now and again I anyway. Videos. So, yeah, yeah, your your 4K. That's gonna. You know, there's your, there's your <laughs> storage. Who, who records your story. in 4K? Seriously. Well, unless it's your job. Like unless you record. In which I, case, I, you get I a proper it, camera. I, I, I would. No, no, it's not going to make much difference on a. You, you got know, nothing you, to see. It, nothing, nothing to watch. To play it on. Ten eighties. Ten eighties as high as you're going to see it back anyway. Yeah, you still get a little bit more detail out of it, but you're right. It just it's a waste of storage unless you've got something. If you can do 1080p at 60 frames or 4K at 30 frames, I'll go 1080p at 60. Thanks. Yep. It's got a front-facing camera flash. Oh, good for it. Oh. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, a selfie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blew my eyes out. And you crash your car. Yeah. So you... <laughs> yeah. Look, how much was this, your six uh, outright, Eric? I remember? didn't buy it outright. You went on plans. I went on plan. Yeah, it's, six it's... S. I, my plan was about eighty bucks a month for this for the six plus. Mm, mm. I think you can buy them about eight hundred and fifty, can't you? I don't think they're a uh, thousand. I don't think I'll they're a thousand. Might, I'll check for you. You just keep talking. Yeah, another thousand. Uh, look, just some quick other specs. Uh, it's a twelve megapixel camera, four K video capture, five megapixel front camera, um, faster A nine processor, will with integrated M nine. Motion processor will. Apple. Uh, all, <laughs> all right, Glenny. <laughs> iPhone six, the old one, sixty four gig is a thousand and seventy nine. Right. That's the only size they've got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that will drop once the new phone comes out, though. No, this is after the pricing's been released. Hmm. Oh. Now. Yeah. All right. That's depressing, isn't it? It's too expensive. You know, yeah. The main thing I watched today that was re- that. Um, was more than just, you know, Apple products. It's been 20 years since uh, a certain product has been released. PlayStation? Oh, Sony PlayStation was released 20 years ago today. Oh, really? Mm. Yep. <laughs> looks a bit like Jeff Fennick. <laughs> what, the PlayStation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, remember all In the, the, man. All the In innovations the man. that it had at the time, like, you know, I love you all. Troll pads and yeah, CD buttons. players. All those buttons. <laughs> buttons. Floppy disks. AV cables. You've got oh. a what? <laughs> Look at that. The design. It looked like some sort of brick. Oh, why was it grey? Why was everything grey? Space no. grey. Remember when it came out, though? <laughs> it, was <laughs> the sexiest, it was the sleekest, sexiest thing out because you had the Sega Saturn, which is like a big black box that just took up the entire table. And you had this, and then I think you had the was it the GameCube was the equivalent. Yeah, they had a GameCube. Who who Nintendo did that? GameCube? Nintendo. Nintendo. That's it. Yeah, and it was all this big chunky thing. So I think the PlayStation was popular because it was the only thing that actually fit on your on your, on your entertainment cabinet. <laughs> and well, even that was pretty thick. Uh, it was. Yeah, it, it really was. Now look, um, just to move on to the last Apple story. Here is there's been controversy. I don't know if ever, anyone's heard about the controversy <gasps> from the dun, event dun, dun, uh, from what? the Apple event this morning. Uh, really? This Who week. got kicked out? No, there, there was a uh, demo of a lady who was not smiling, and <laughs> he showed us how I saw that. <laughs> and he showed us how they take a picture from the iPad, and with the Adobe app. They can make the girl smile. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You mean like... Controversy. Twitter. So, so why, why was there, what was the controversy about that? Because the Twitter... People on Twitter... I'm getting sick of people on Twitter. Oh, people on Twitter... Who goes on Twitter anymore? <laughs> people on Twitter immediately called out Apple. I like why? how people are calling Apple out... Uh, calling Sexist. People out. 
Who approved the presentation and Adobe as being a little misogynistic by making a woman smile? What is misogynistic about that? <laughs> I don't know. Do I don't know. Like people? smiling. You know, what, what, how, what, was, what was the tag sign off? Love, Julia? If she had a crap day, then just leave a B. Yeah, I don't like... understand. I made a smile. Okay, well, would you rather that or resting bitch face? <laughs> yep. Well, uh, look, there's not too much about this. It's obviously a bit of a... I just can't believe this rubbish. Adobe showed off a software feature that could make a woman smile bigger. Given the many... Here we go. This is the reasoning. Given the many cat calls women receive, telling them to smile more. The... That's too <laughs> far. It's gone too far. That's crazy. That really makes sense. Jump the shark. So I oh think... my God. Some people have got nothing better to say. Get off Twitter. Go back to school. Get a job. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy, isn't it? It's just some people's, yeah, they should just be quiet. And like, who cares? Who cares? Oh, God. It, just, it was just showcasing what the thing can do. You know uh -huh. what they should have done? Put a bloke on there with his schlong and made it bigger. <laughs> That would have shut him up. <laughs> Every guy in that room would have walked out with a phone. <laughs> <laughs> right down in there. Right down the in best there, yeah. dick pics ever. <laughs> yes. If it does selfies Dick's like that, put me down for two. Resold. The front front facing camera with the with the flash. <laughs> true, Literally. True <laughs> tone. <laughs> oh, excellent. FTW is no longer for the win. Flash <laughs> that winner. <laughs> all right. Uh, did you have any other comments on the Apple uh, keynote, Eric? Oh, look, I, all in all, it was not too bad. I'm not too fussed on the phones. Only because, well, mate, I don't know if it's I'm being subjective about it because I, I just, I don't, I'm not in the market for one, so I'm not mm. really excited about it. So that because the... I, it's only a, I, I do my phones every two years. Um, the Apple Watch still not interested. I oh, will. Um, what else? Uh, the iPad. Mm, thinking about it let's wait and see until it comes out don't know yet now look, I, might, I might be gay and get the rose gold one <laughs> now what i didn't actually i was going to try and work this out and i didn't i didn't have time before the they, show. They, they, did you notice also that they snuck in an ipod mini in there no a new one i, I blinked sorry i didn't get that. ipad mini and they said oh by the way we've got oh, yes. iPad mini, and then you, know, you keep going and then they just keep mm. going now the new the ipad pro just uh quickly I, I meant to try and work this out but i didn't is, is that the same size as an a4 piece of paper 12 by 9 well measured a4 yeah what's the a4 measurements let's be get a4 11 and a half by something it's, it's 8.27 by 11.69. It's an A4. It's massive. It's like mm. a 15-inch screen. Oh, it's great. I'd, li I'd like one, for sure. For sure. 13.9. 13. Yeah, so it's, it's similar to an 13. A4. 13.9 or 12.9? What's 13.9? Oh, A4. No, that, was wrong, that was wrong calculation, Pete. I've got A4 here as uh, 11.69 by 8.27 inches. And what's fool's cap? Yeah, because that's right. They do fool's cap over there, don't they? The fools. <laughs> no, and they do a US letter size. Letter. Oh, US yeah. letter, yeah. which is pisses me off. <laughs> well, isn't it like only lawyers that use fool's cap now? Is it? I don't know. Very bad ones. They are fools. <laughs> Who uses rich, fool's rich cap? fools. <laughs> Phil, why? Why can you? You can still buy Phil's cap. I know. I never do Phil's cap folders. You can't put them in your bag. I know. You got to do it with them. A four is the go. Okay. Yeah. Point, I don't know. Thirteen point three. There we go. Definitive. Every time you hold a piece of so point five or so oh. under the under the point four or so under mm. the Phil's cap. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So that's Phil's cap. All right. Look. It, um. Yes. Phil's cap. Have you got Phil's cap? You fool. I'm, no. No. Sorry. That's A four. What am I talking about? Four. That's A four. Yeah. I was gonna say. Just under A4 size. Now, look, if you want to know, <laughs> I don't know why, but if you want to know more about the uh, Apple events and their products, uh, look, at it. it would be interesting. Go and listen to the Aussie Mac Zone. They will be, no doubt, they're recording, doing a special record uh, this week on it, and it'll be available in the iTunes shortly. Sometime in the next two weeks. I yeah, know. It'll be, uh, of, uh, uh, it will be up tonight. Thursday night it will be up. Right. So good. That's good. So have a listen to those guys because they'll go probably more in depth and, uh, yeah, you won't hear a harsh word about it and you'll, you'll be loving it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, if you, if you, if you want a completely non-slagging off episode of, <laughs> of Apple, go listen to them. You won't get that here. <laughs> 
right. I'll try and defend them all I can. If you don't you know, like three, honest opinions. Yeah. You know, three, against, three against one. You've got to put the white flag up eventually. Uh, look, look, overall, my whole summary is, yes, I want, except for the watch, I want probably every one of those products. I want the iPad Pro. I want the iPhone. And I want the Apple TV. Apple TV is probably one I will get. Definitely. That's a definite Apple TV. Because mm. I've already got three in the house. I don't need any more. Yeah. I'd be I'd be interested in the Apple TV. Like if it's as decent as they actually say it is, I probably would have a look at it and consider it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, well if you, you don't want to spend the money, Will, what you should do is try and get a cheap um cheap Apple T V last generation yeah, two. Yeah, plus and plus test it out. Rate. And you think, Oh, if I like this, then the next one will be, you'll blow your mind. Mm. But look, it looks good. But look, things are pretty expensive. I don't know. You know, it's it, they're up there, aren't they? So I think I don't know. Well, that just pushed a lot of people over the edge. I don't know. They've only got pricing out on the Apple on the phones because mm. they're going to be ordered in two days. Yes. Um, but nothing else is. No, what no side are you getting the pricing on the Apple Store? Apple Store. Just go yeah. to iPhone. Yep, and that's all there. And click on your version that you want. It gives you the prices. All right. Um, well, has anyone else got any more stories? this week just a bit of a funny one yes uh, please an italian chess player has been expelled from one of his country's most important tournaments after he allegedly used morse code and a pendant containing a hidden camera to communicate with an accomplice <laughs> archangelo <laughs> ricciardi entered the international chess festival of imperia ranked fifty one thousand three hundred sixty six in the world but astonished rivals as he breezed through the early stages of competition to reach the eighth and penultimate round John Kokorat, who refereed the tournament in Liguria, northern Italy, said he began to suspect something was wrong early in the competition. Ooh. In chess, performances like those are impossible. I didn't think he was a genius. I knew he had to be a cheat. I kept on looking at him. He was always sitting down. He never got up. It was very strange. We're talking about hours and hours of playing. But most suspicious of all, he always had his arms folded with his thumb under his armpit. He never took it out. <laughs> Kokore said that he's batting his eyelids in the most unnatural way. <laughs> then I understood it. He was deciphering signals in Morse code. The referee attempted to expose Ricciardi by asking him to empty his pockets, but nothing was found. When he was asked to open his shirt, he refused. Tournament organisers then asked the 37-year-old to pass through a metal detector and a pendant was found hanging around his neck underneath the shirt that contained a tiny video camera as well as a massive wires attached to his body and a four-centimetre box under his armpit. Ricciardi claimed they were good luck charms. Oh, yeah. Good were. on you, Ricciardi. Oh, well, I guess technically is, right? <laughs> they were good luck. <laughs> I'd like to know how much this tournament was worth. You know, did he, did he, Enough was... for him to want to cheat. Well, yep. he, would, he would have had to learn Morse code and everything. Champion. <laughs> I know, right? He could have ended he the only Morse... put all that effort in learning how to play chess. Yeah, he could have won the Morse code <laughs> championships. <laughs> yeah, I think he entered the wrong comp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he could have. What, where was that? In Hungary or somewhere? In Italy. Italy. It's crazy. Never stuff. known. Never known an Italian not an Italian not to love a scam. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, there, there was another one. Uh, all right, Will. Did you have anything else this week? Yeah, a couple of quick stories. Of course, the uh, Humble Humble Bundle Mobile 14 goes live. Ooh. Um, it's just been released. It's currently, the average is 452. Remember, you get three games if you pay below, and you get the bonus games if you pay above that average. Uh, at the moment, we've got things like Toy Defense Premium, um, Double Dragon Trilogy. Uh, what else is on here? Uh, Amelia Kid Storybook, One More Line, Odd World, which is... Basically, sort of a, a copy of Abe's Odyssey. Um, double, yeah, Double Dragon. So, go and check that out, of course. It goes to a good cause. goes to... Um, and while you're there, if you like Neil like Gaiman, the Humble Book Bundle has got Neil Gaiman this time. Oh, Neil does it? Gaiman, now he's not yep. bad, is he? Adventures in Dream Trade, Gods and Tulips, Free Speeches, Being an Account in the Life of Death of the Emperor, Helio mm. Gabulous, Angels and Visitations, and four more to unlock. I might uh, go and get that one. Yeah, you know what is nice, the twenty-seven inch iMac five K <laughs> display. Five K. It's one three. Three thousand. Three or four K, and I'll raise you another K. That's right. You beat that. Three <laughs> charge 000, another K dollars on top. Three thousand two hundred dollars. There you go. Oh man, that's the computer with the five K display. So one yeah, terabyte right. storage with a Fusion drive. What's a Fusion drive? Is that like a hybrid? It's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's like something that makes your ship go faster, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. 
<laughs> it's a, yeah, Apple Fusion with part SSD. Now you're thinking of diuretic, Shane Warne style. <laughs> Isn't that a book by L. Ron Hubbard? Yeah, he's not crazy at all. <laughs> he's he's as crazy as John McAfee. <laughs> oh, McAfee. <laughs> you love that he bloke. that already. He wants to be president. Well, if you haven't seen that John McAfee's video, grab him on YouTube. YouTube. He's not they're, they're hilarious. Uh, all right, Will, any more? Uh, and also, um, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 is launching this week. With stylus? Um, Wi-Fi and 4G, of course. And what uh, about the, any lines outside the Samsung store? 9.7 inch. Uh, yes. eight, it's got a 8 inch and a 9.7 inch going on sale as of the 15th. Can, um, you only need two people to make a line, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's true. Um, Not it's a conga line, though. The form factor. It's got Android 502 running Lollipop. Uh, it's got 4G, 3, 3 and 4G. So Quad 1.9 um, processor and a Quad 1.3 octa-core application processor. It comes with, you know, 32 gig RAM, all that sort of stuff. And Super. the Samsung stuff's coming out with that uh, so, multi-band technology that they're rolling out with Optus and that for super high speeds. Yeah. Um, it starts at 499 for the 8-inch Wi-Fi, um, 649 for the 8-inch with 4G and Wi-Fi, 599 for the Wi-Fi 9.7 and 749 for the Wi-Fi and 4G 9.7 with 32 gig. So it's just a quick roundup of that. It actually looks really nice. It, they've changed the design a little bit. It's, it's quite quite sleek. It's more, you know, a little bit less boxier than the previous ones. And also, it's a rumour, but apparently... <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> Images have been leaked, which Ooh. clearly show that Nokia are releasing a 5-inch 1080p Android handset. About so time. that means Microsoft have jumped, have gone to the dark side. Yep. Oh, yeah. was, was well, it? Sorry. Uh, the the Nokia um, X, the low long standing bad taste in the mouth. The terms of Microsoft deal, which saw the mobile division purchase outright, very likely. Um, precludes. They couldn't do any phones for huh? X number of years, but once that runs out, they can start going into doing them again. That's it, and I think they're out of that contract now. So there's, I mean, there's actual pictures of it. Whether or not they've been photoshopped, who knows? You can't tell these days, but you can actually see there's an Android phone with the Nokia. But is it better than a Commodore sixty four phone? Huh? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? No. I guarantee no. you, it might be. Can't be. Now, uh, look, I've got one last story because I read it through the week and I just brought it up. Uh, and I, I just wanted to know uh, how this is possible. But lines are already forming outside the Apple store in Sydney. Yep. Uh, and this is two days ago. I think before... I'm going to die of not surprise. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Samsung, whoever's releasing those new phones that Will was talking about, is going to get the air sucked out of them. Why? I saw an ad on TV See, tonight with Dick Smith. They've got a discount on all of their Samsung products starting today. Well, because the new line's coming up, so the old the old line's wrapping up. But awesome. you don't forget, like, for, at work, for example, one of the apps we use for our invoicing software, you can use... The only way it will work on a, um, on a iPad is with the app. The problem is the app doesn't do half of the stuff that the actual program does. The program won't work on a browser on the iPad. It will only work in the browser on Android. So you can either use the iPad app, which is crippled, or you can use an Android device through the browser to make it work properly. So there's this really wide chasm at the moment, and I don't understand why that's a thing. Like, if you're going to develop an iPad app, make the app use the program. <laughs> Mm. So at the moment we have currently actually bought three iPads, two, two there, or three uh, iPads for work. Yes, nice. And we've got to return them all and buy Android tablets because the iPads just simply don't work with what they need to do. No good. Was anyone surprised to see Microsoft got a gig on stage this, uh, at the Apple? No, team? not not really surprised. Yeah, that looks pretty good. They're though. big supporters of both Apple and Android now. All their products are coming yeah. out mm. on them. Android first, then iPhone, and then if anybody cares, 
that other thing. Well, yeah, with the office on the iPad, which was demonstrated, yep. uh, you can have your document and with your Apple Pencil, you, you can draw on your document, <laughs> do whatever you want. Uh, That's you, what I like about it. And then it saves. I, I, this is what I do. I see clients, right? And I take this thing with me. Right? Yeah. I take, make all my notes, whatever meeting we have, take my notes, and when I'm done, yep. I rip it out and I scan it. Right. And, and it stays in their folder. Their client, separate, everyone's client's got a separate folder and it goes in there, my yeah. notes. Yeah, right. Now, if I had the iPad, ha-ha, with uh-huh. the pencil, yes. done, done deal. Oh, I can hear a tax deduction uh, purchase coming on. <laughs> Cha-ching! <laughs> but the if good it could thing... OCR, even better. <laughs> yeah, well, the good thing about the, the way that... <laughs> you can do that. The good thing that, that that works with the Office and the iPad is, yeah, you, you can scroll all over it with your handwriting. Uh, the pencil works with your finger. That doesn't have to be either or. Yeah. It, it can be both at the same time. And plus, when you save the document, it doesn't save just on the iPad or for the iPad. You can save the document as whatever, dot .x, dot .x or whatever they are. And then you can send that, say, to Eric. And he'll open it in his word and I'll still have all my scrolls all over it. Yeah, that's right. So I love that. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. I can't wait. I'm getting one. When is it released? November. Birthday's coming up. Oh, bingo. Birthday in November. Yes. Bingo. There you go. <laughs> buy yourself an iPad Pro. You're uh, pro. Why not get the wife to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get the receipt. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just to put in my name. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, Jace, did you have any more stories before we go? That's it for me. That's it for Jace. William, any more? Oh, uh, nothing that can top uh, nothing that can top uh, Apple. That's for sure. No. Although I tell sure? you what, you look at stories differently when you're expecting a kid. You're like, hmm, I could use that. No, no, maybe I. And you sort of uh, see. Join the club, William. In posts that you wouldn't even normally look at, like I was scrolling through Facebook <laughs> and I saw that, I'm like, Sweet. need that. That's got to be a thing. I really need to get that now. Where do I find that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. A, a bunk bed truck. Yeah, that's, that's good. Awesome. That's yeah, good it's funny, isn't it? Your, your, your perception of everything changes. You start looking at, oh, I need this for the room. I need a crib. I need this. I need a mat. Especially when you go, it. oh, it's okay. I've got until middle of November. And then you go for the scans and the doctors go, no, probably the middle of October. You're like, yep. uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Join the club, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> well, my little, my little <laughs> bloke. Like, yeah, it happened. <laughs> we can't Congratulations. wait to see you. Congratulations and sucked in. Yeah. We can't wait to see a little Gilly. <laughs> little William. You got you got names sorted, Will? You don't have to tell us. But you don't have to Sorry. tell us. You'll yeah. jinx it. But don't jinx it. Long. The name? How long? Yeah. Oh, it's some I don't you know. Don't, you don't have to tell us you don't have to tell us where it's boy or girl. I didn't tell anyone. No. I I didn't even find out. Kept it a yeah, secret. me neither. I was a complete surprise to me. I found out, told everyone. Yeah. The only people where three tell- children later, I'm still surprised it's three girls. <laughs> <laughs> the only people we're telling are people who buy us presents. They, we go, oh, you better buy us because we don't want like. <laughs> yes, you don't want girl blue. presents for a boy and b- vice versa. You know well, what they'll do that, if you don't actually, tell them. Wish... Your kid will be dressed in white or yellow. Yeah, yeah. just neutral. That's yeah, right. Neutral colours. All right. Well, we better get out of here. Don't forget uh, for more See, this week in kids. Look for it. It's coming soon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> for more for more Apple news of this week's happenings, you can get the Aussie Max Zone. Uh, just go to aussiemaxzone.com.au or get in, uh, in the iTunes. Don't forget the aussietechradio.com, uh, 24-7 Shoutcast Radio. Yeah, tune in anytime, get whatever's on the roundabout. They're all current shows. They're uploaded every Friday, so they're, they're never a week, more than a week old. So uh, it's good. If you've got a show you want it up there, give me an email. Good stuff. All right, I think that's about all. Contact us at Glenn, Will, Eric, or... Me. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, something flashed on my screen. That's all right. You're not in the intro either, so he always forgets about uh, you. I'm invisible. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not in the intro? He's not hey. in the intro. Where? He's not in the intro. What do you mean? last time you watched the intro? <laughs> it's good. Oh, that Shane intro. In it. <laughs> well, you, you, see, what happens is intros take that long to to do that by the time I'll, I will do it, and by the time that happens, oh, Jason will probably have enough. He'll leave. <laughs> and it'll be Jason. It'll be, uh, if you're lucky. That's right. <laughs> If, if all those emails we've been getting are any reflection. <laughs> so uh, email any one of us at aussietechheads.com.au. It'll get there. All right, that's it. So uh, great stuff. Go and think about how you're going to save up for your Apple products, eh? A this product a month. Uh, yeah, a product a month until Christmas. Sounds good to me. So you, you probably, if you did that, well, you'd be going Australian dollars. You'd probably be doing about two and a half grand. Oh, Something ouch. Like Unless yeah. you buy a 5K monitor. 
Oh no, mm. I'm not going to do. It. I love one, but it's just it's just. That you write that one off? Completely. Oh yeah, shit yeah. But it's completely impressive. <laughs> the buying it in the first place. One of the guys yeah, that worked. No got point a... writing it off if I've still got to spend the three thousand two hundred bucks. One of the guys What's that worked be... got a um four K twenty four inch monitor. He's like, I can't even read the writing on this. It's completely useless. <laughs> I was looking at the new. Um, I think it's Samsung or someone. It's just bought out a ninety four inch four K TV. And it's only... Is it curved? It's only like 90... Yeah, it wraps around your whole house. (laughs) 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 94 inches, my God. That's huge. 80 grand or something. Yeah, no worries. I'll take two of those. I'll put one in the bathroom. (laughs) Yeah, put one on a can. So when you're sitting on the can, you can watch... (laughs) You could buy two wrapped TVs and put them together and sit in the middle. You could buy... Oh, imagine... Can you imagine playing games with that? Just wrap it around. Well, actually, there is a thing. It's actually projectors you can buy that have fisheye lenses on them, and you project them on the... You basically sit on the inside of a canvas dome, and they project to the inside of the dome. Yeah, I'd I'd be happy to do that. You... Someone says, here's 200 grand. That room, empty room over there, go nuts. That's exactly what I'd do. Mm. Good stuff. And turn it into the bridge of the Enterprise. (laughs) Warp one. Engage. Now, that's about it. So that is it. So thanks for the, for the lounge for joining us tonight. You want to join us live for the recording of the show, it's aussietechheads.com.au forward slash live. And it is 7.30pm Queensland time Thursday nights. So work that out for wherever you are. All right. That's it. Thanks, Will, Eric, and Jace for coming on. <laughs> you next sir, time. You and uh, <laughs> we'll see everyone next week for another show. So stay good, stay happy, and bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye.